Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Inventory 101 webinar. My name is Chrissy. I'm a customer success manager here at MarketMan, and I will be taking you through today's training. Today, we will cover what an inventory item is, adding and edit editing inventory items, setting up suppliers, categories, and storage areas. I will also have a Q&A at the end of the call for any questions that you'd like to go over. An inventory item is any ingredient or raw good that you buy from an external source like a supplier or a vendor. This can be everything from paper goods, meat, produce, dairy, and is not limited to these items. Inventory items are the backbone of Market Man, so it's extremely important that we have them set up correctly. To start setting up your inventory items, let's head over to the suppliers dropdown and click into your suppliers. Your suppliers were likely mass uploaded by the onboarding team. But if any time you need to add a new supplier, you can simply add with clicking this green Add Supplier button. First thing you want to do is search for the supplier's name. And add a phone number and a default category. A default category is the type of items that you get from this supplier. For example, I purchase wine. The next section is going to be for placing orders through MarketMan. If you decide to place orders through MarketMan, you would mark this supplier as for orders. If you decide not to place orders through MarketMan, you would mark them as not for orders. The next section is going to be your rep's phone book information. If you have a rep's email address or phone number, they would be entered here. If you have a customer identification number, it would go here. And if your supplier gives you a minimum order requirement dollar amount, it would go here as well. You also have the availability to add CC emails for yourself or anybody else on your team to be CC'd on the email order. The next section is your delivery dates and cutoff times. Simply mark the date in which your supplier delivers. And if you have specific cutoff times that the order has to be placed by in order to receive it on this day. The next thing I would like to go over is categories. Under the suppliers dropdown, click into your categories. Your categories are high level ways of organizing your different items. These are likely added from your invoices, but again, multiple categories can be added at any time by clicking the green add button here. Examples of categories are cocktails, dairy, produce, any type of form of organizing your specific inventory items. This is not to be confused with storage areas. Under the inventory dropdown, when you click into storage areas, you will see the physical locations in which you keep your items, like the walk-in, the freezer, dry storage, or bar. Again, you can add as many storage areas as you'd like by clicking the green add button here. Now let's head into your inventory items. Under the inventory dropdown, click into inventory items. These were likely mass uploaded by our onboarding team, but again, you can add as many inventory items as you'd like at any time. You have an opportunity to add your inventory items one at a time, but if you do have a good handful of items that need to be added, you can import from Excel. By clicking the upload from Excel, and in this section, you will be able to download a sample file. The sample file will give you all of the columns that need to be filled out with all of your product and vendor information. All of these columns must be filled out in order to be uploaded into MarketMan. Once you fill out the columns, you can browse your files and upload the file directly into the system. If you're only adding one or two small items, you can click the Add button and add them individually. Start by first naming your item. You can add it into a category here. And then we'll add all of the purchasing options. I purchase this red wine from Cisco. And if I have a product code, I would enter the product code in here. I next want to add how I purchase it. I purchase my wine in 750 milliliter bottles, 750 milliliters. 
and I get six bottles in a case. My total cost for all six of these bottles is $62. Marketman also has the ability to add a pack nickname. We know that wine comes in 750 milliliters, but pack nickname is a way to help identify the bottle. By adding bottle into the pack nickname section, I now have an option to count it by the bottle and my inventory counts. Your inventory count options will populate here based on how you choose to purchase the item and what's available to be purchased. You also can drop the item into a storage area here. Items can go into multiple storage areas. For example, I keep my wine in the liquor room, but also at the bar. Under advanced item definition, you can adjust how you use the item, specifically for recipes, and add a minimum on hand and par level as well. The minimum on hand is going to trigger an alert for when you get low stock or low inventory on this bottle of wine. And your par level is going to be used for ordering to give you the ideal amount that you would like to have in stock at all times. We can, of course, bulk update and assign all of our items. This is a really convenient way to adjust categories or storage areas for all of our items. Simply by checking off these checkboxes next to the item's name and going into the Actions button and Bulk Update. Here we have the ability to add them into a category or add them into a specific storage area as well. Clicking into the storage area, all of my storage area options will drop down here. and I'll simply just check off where they belong. We also want to merge any duplicate items. Merging items, for example, my blueberries that I purchased from Grace's Grocery and Cisco. Both of them are blueberries that I use interchangeably, but I purchase them in different sizes from different suppliers. To merge these items, we will check both of the boxes, go to Actions, Bulk Update, and Merge Items. It's now gonna ask me for my main. The main is the one that I most likely purchase from. I usually purchase from Cisco, but once in a while I go to Grace's Grocery, so Cisco is my main. This now combines the two items because I use them interchangeably in recipes and in counting. When you save the item, you may have to do a conversion. The conversion is because you purchase the item in different sizes. So from Grace's Grocery, I purchase them in eaches, but from Cisco, I purchase them in ounces. This conversion is just asking me how many ounces come into each of my containers. Great. The next thing I wanna cover is hiding items. If you have any items that you're no longer using or maybe seasonal, you can hide them because Market Man, we don't like to delete items. For example, I'm not gonna be using my buttermilk anymore. So I will check the box, go to Actions, Bulk Update, and the Show Hide section. Once I hide this item, it will now not be visible on my inventory sheet. Hidden items will show up in the Show Hide section here, and you can always unhide them by clicking the checkbox going to Actions, Bulk Update, and clicking Show. If you don't want these items to appear on your inventory count list, we also will wanna mark them not for counts. To mark items not for count, check the checkboxes, Bulk Update, and click Inventory Counts. We wanna make sure all of these boxes are not checked off, and now these items will not appear on your inventory count sheet. The next section, this star, is going to be any new items added from your invoices. As you upload invoices, if there are any items that are not currently in the system, they will automatically be added for you. This section is a great way to check for new items that have come in and also make sure that they have been added to a category and a storage area as well. And of course, if you need to merge them with another item. Lastly, you can always reach out to our support team by clicking this green question mark. When you open the question mark, you can live chat directly with our support team or search our Zendesk for articles and how-to videos.
We also are running a promotion where if you refer a friend, you can get a $250 Amazon gift card for MarketMan. I will now leave this open to any questions. Feel free to write in the chat or reach out to your customer success manager directly. Thank you.